we are successfully storing the user's information in the database. So we have successfully generated a verification code. We have stored user's email ID in our database and we have stored encrypted password in our database as well. So what, so what now? Once the data is successfully stored, we need to send one email to the user. So how we are going to send one email to the user? So inside the code block where it says data are successfully stored inside that code block first we need to define a variable two variable we want to send the verification code okay so this would be the email id okay this email id right we are capturing this email id this is the user's email id to this email id we want to send the verification code then we need to mention the subject okay subject is a variable this is going to hold the subject verification code hyphen your website name i'm going to provide here demo site okay this is my website name demo site this is our project name okay one subject variable value i have defined then i need to provide what is the message i want to send the message is i can include html tags so i inside html tags i am going to use this h2 tag inside h2 tag I am going to mention verification code okay and now I can concatenate here the verification code so instead of providing this verification code directly instead of including this verification code generate function here I can do one thing I can capture here okay now let's say where code is equal to now this is capturing the generated verification code okay so i can provide here so the generated verification code is stored in the database here and also we are sending as email here okay so the where code uh, let's uh, let's break this tag br okay now here i need to concatenate my another message so i am here concatenating font color is equal to red i need to set the font color as red so to avoid conflict i am using single quote and keeping this attribute inside here like this okay and this should end with double quote note if you are not if you are not registering in our site then ignore this email okay so we are saying this message here we can include two break tags here so we can get more space so our message is ready now and once our message is ready we need to define headers okay this is very important now this should contain from and i am going to mention demo site okay and it should end with backward slash r and backward slash n okay this must present in this header variable value okay so we are going to concatenate the rest values and the rest values are mime version what is the mime version of this this is 1.0 backward slash r and backward slash n okay and also we need to include header we are concatenating another header values and that is content type okay this is important content hyphen type this is text forward slash html and this also must end with backward slash r and backward slash n so we have declared all the important parameters of a email okay now php is providing one function and that function is mail this mail can send our required email so the first parameter is to the second parameter is uh, sub subject the third parameter is message 
and the last parameter is headers header okay so this will mail our required information now what now let's capture this in a variable so return value is equal to mail so now here we need to check if dollar return value is true then echo mail send okay else mail mail failed okay nice now let's save this okay from localhost it won't send the email there is a solution to send email from localhost but i am not going to show you how in this tutorial at least uh, but i have tested this with hosting server it is working fine it is sending email okay now we are going to proceed to the next step in the next step we are going to check the user has submitted the required verification code or not okay